so we're clamming. We're catching clams. Uh, we're, we're treading them, so which means that we're walking in the marsh. Uh, we're gonna feel them with our feet, and then we're gonna oop, we're gonna reach down, we pick them up. And they look like that. I got, I got a few. Nice job, dude. We dug a bushel of clams. We can eat them every way we can think of. We're gonna steam some. We're gonna bake some. We're gonna eat some raw. Uh, might even have some linguine white clam sauce. So we're gonna see what we can do. Um, but this stuff is this is Long Island. This is uh, you know this is this is digging clams. Um, what this bushel would cost if you had to buy them per the six or per the dozen in a restaurant is hundreds of dollars. And out here, it was just the gas to get across the bay and in here to this beautiful marsh and uh, to know where to go with, uh, with dad guiding us. You never know what you're gonna step on. There's you know broken bottles maybe or shells. So what we do is we use the coverings um, for dress shoes um, and a sock and that's it. So you can see they're kind of muddy, um, but we use these they keep your feet protected, um, but you can still feel the clams underneath the water. So we're going to talk about how we're going to eat the clams that we caught. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to eat them on the half shell. So it's raw. Dad's going to open some clams up here. Um, so it's literally just opening the clam up, throwing some cocktail sauce on it, slurping it down. And here's your first That's clam. the first one. Nice white meat. Beautiful. You know what? I'm just going to eat this one. Regular. It's my favorite way to eat them. Um, clams are great no matter how you cook them, but this is my favorite way. Want some cocktail sauce on that one? Yes, I would. Give that one to you. Get a little juice out of there. They take the top shell off in the restaurant. Yeah, it makes it look prettier. And here we go. Mm -mm -mm. That's it. Dad's been clamming on this bay for, for how long? 70 years. I hate to say that. So tell me a little bit about that. Well, I, you know, our family used to, every week I can go out to make extra money for the family, digging clams. And I was at a very young age and I actually started selling my first clams about 500 feet from here at seven years old. And I don't know, I always like to dig clams and uh, I got better and better at it. And as I graduated high school, I uh, went to college locally and I paid all my tuition. All my expenses was made through digging clams. I went to college seven years, um, two years, four years to get a Bachelor of Science degree at Adelphi, then two years to get a Bachelor of Arts in teaching at the University of South Florida. And you dug clams in Florida too. And I dug clams in Florida and all this time, all my tuition, all my expense, my off-campus living was all provided by digging clams. The school district, well, I have 215 credits on my transcript. They paid me $25 a day. This is 73. And I had two half days. And uh, the two half days, they paid me $12.50, which is great being a teacher. I loved it. It was the best years of my life. The year, year and a half teaching were probably the most uh, rewarding years of my whole life, honestly. I would do it to this day again if I could, but I'm too old. And then I went back on the bay, because uh, that's what I did to get where I was at that point. And I just continued and spent the rest of my life out there as a commercial fisherman. And we're still digging clams. And still digging clams and having fun. It's not really a job if you enjoy your, your work. If you were gonna sell these to a clam buyer, a mixed bushel, how much would they be? I'm, since I haven't sold clams in so many years, uh, and actually in Great South Bay, the clamming industry is coming back big time. It's probably, probably going to be like it was back in the 60s and 70s. We had about a 30 year time where it's just no recruitment in the clams. But I would say uh, the little neck clams like this, from what I understand talking to some of the fellas, they're getting 25, 28 cents a piece and a chowder clam uh, and a cherry stone, which would be the more medium-sized clam, uh, I think they're getting 18 to 22 cents. And that's the same price we got back in 1980, 82. But it's, there's still enough clams that, you know, if a young person wanted to uh, start, they could, it's a low overhead. That's one of the best things about clamming. 
your overheads once you get your equipment is your gas to go out and back. And it's probably four or five gallons a day. If that. Yeah. yeah. Because when I do other things like going crabbing, it's over a thousand dollars a day to leave the dock. So I don't catch a thousand dollars worth of crabs. I work 12 hours for nothing. This year, the prices were very low. I got paid, well, I got paid in 1978 to 1985. It's just unbelievably terrible. The worst I've ever seen for a crabber up and down the eastern seaboard. Not a local situation. It's a coastwide situation. And I think about what that is in Arizona for a half dozen little necks will be 12, 15, 20 bucks for a half dozen clams this size. And for a half dozen, they're going to pay you two dollars. That's what the markup is. That's why when you when you go into restaurants, that's why stuff is so expensive. It's not this side getting rich. It's the people that we're selling to and then they're selling to restaurants and everyone keeps marking it up. But the lowest paid people in that entire, entire totem pole are the people on the bottom, which is us. We're going to go head home and start processing this stuff now. These are just steamed. Um, there's water in here and then as the clams open up, um, they let juice in there. So we kind of, there'll be a little bit of grit sometimes. So we'll take them out of the shell, kind of wash them in the juice a little bit. And that also reheats them in case they get cold into butter and then eat them. And that's how we do it. And, uh, and they're great. <laughs> that's great. So these are clams casino. Um, top necks. Just a, yep, it's a top neck, uh, which is a little bit smaller than, or bigger than a little neck. Um, on the half shell, dash of Tabasco, piece of sharp cheddar cheese, piece of bacon. Put in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes and then five minutes on broil. Let them cool. They come out looking like this. And I'm grabbing one. Grab one, I'm going to grab one. They come right out because they're cooked. And... It's like a mixture of cheese and the delicious Tabasco bacon goodness. <laughs> They're real good. Mm -hmm. Tabasco gives it a little spice. A little kick with the Tabasco. Yep, gives it a little kick. Cheese is great, bacon's awesome. Um, if you have access to clams, try them like this. You absolutely can't go wrong. We had Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning to do all of that. So we caught blowfish, caught crabs, caught clams, caught fluke, cast netted some fish, caught our own bait, ate a whole bunch of stuff. That was just in a couple days here on Long Island. Um, and it's just, it it's, doesn't even break the surface of everything that there is great to do here just on the Great South Bay. So if you want to see us do more stuff like this, let us know in the comments. We're always open to try out some new stuff, go to new places, but it's also always good to come home. So thanks for sharing it with me.